Okay, so now I've got my building extruded and I've given a colour to the whole shape. I'm going to want to split it down into its various sides and add a roof. At the moment we can see the colour is red, 25500 RGB values. Uh, and the whole building is red because it hasn't been split into its walls. Uh, so the walls on the top. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is a component split. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the colour. I'm going to do Control S and Control G. The building will disappear because um, there's an error in this rule now. And I'm going to go back to the CGA reference and have a look for the comp function. Geometry subdivision, this is a component split. So I'm going to click that one and I'm going to quickly head down to uh, this section here. And this gives me the syntax that I can copy and paste into City Engine to get this going. Again, I can do Control S, Control G. Okay, it's broken it down into two different sides. I'm going to put this all on one line just to make it easier to read. Okay, so at the moment we've got a front and we've got sides. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to carry on and add a top. And I'm going to call that roof. Control S, Control G. And I've got a roof has appeared. Okay, so I've got a front, I've got a sides, and I've got a top. Okay, if you go back into the CGA reference and we have a look at um, all the different options we've got, we can have front, back, left, right, top, and bottom. Uh, and then if you go into detail, this goes absolutely crazy uh, and breaks down roofs in different shapes in different ways. Obviously, you can get really, really complicated, uh, but we're going to keep this nice and simple. Okay, so I've got my short sides. Um, so what's this saying? Let's go from the start. I've got a start rule. So I'm taking that footprint. I'm extruding it by a height of 10. And I'm calling it building. I'm then taking that building. I'm doing a component split to split the faces. And I'm splitting that into front, side, and top. And I'm calling those front, side, and roof. So these are undefined rule files now. So I'm going to need to create a rule file for each one of those. Very important we get the spelling uh, exactly right. And then to check which one is the front, I can add another color. And once that's done, I can go Control S, Control G. And I found that City Engine thinks this is the front. Okay, and that's all to do with the uh, order that the sides of the building are digitized in. So using these garish colors can be really useful in order to work out which side is which. Um, if you're going to break it down into all the sides, you can use some colors, work out which side is which, and then um, start to do the more complex stuff from there. So I'm just going to complete that. I'm going to give it a side, a roof. And let's give them some colors. So you don't just have to use RGB. We can use hex codes as well. So I'm going to copy and paste that one. So for the sides, let's use a hex code. And we just have to use quotation marks if we're using the hex code. And always remember to close them off. If you don't close them off, um, you should get the nice error pop up that tells you you've done something wrong. And then I'm going to add another one. Let's find another hex code. Let's have a nice green. And there we go. So let's go Control S, Control G. Oh, it did not like green, did it? I change sides to sides. And this is where it just becomes a big game of trial and error, trying to find out what you've done wrong with your syntax. Ah, look at that, I've spelt roof wrong. That's better. Now I've got a nice green roof, uh, 
I've got light blue sides and I've got a red edge. And because we don't uh, all speak hex or RGB codes, this is where it can be nice to add some of these comments uh, just to make the code more readable. Obviously, they won't change anything, but that's just for you to understand what you're doing. OK, so the final thing I'm going to do is add um, a certain type of roof to this. So I'm going to go gable roof. So underneath roof, I can start to add more information. So if I press enter again, I'm going to need to type something in order to add a gable roof. But let's find out what I need to type. So if I go back to the CGA reference, um, we can have a look around and try and find the correct roof type. And here we've got a few examples. I've got gable, hip, pyramid, shed or taper. So if I click on roof gable, again, you can have a read about the information and then we'll be able to go down, copy out that code and use it for ourselves. OK, so we can go to roof operation. We can scroll down until we find um, top roof gable and we've got some numbers here. So we can just copy this part of it. Control C back into city engine. I can do control V. And straight away, I can just do control S and control G and we can see we've added a gable roof. So obviously we could go into the CGA reference and we could have a quick read and see what these numbers do, or we can just have a play with them. So if I change the 30 to 20, control S, control G, then we'll see that angle has gone down. What about this two? What if we change that to one? Control S, control G, uh, the sides have come in. So to get my building looking fairly realistic, um, I might change both of these to 0 0.1. This is going to be the size of the overhang in meters. So I'm going to go for a 10 centimeter overhang, control S, control G, and we can see that's reduced. OK, so that's just a quick explanation of how to start to lay out your rule file. We've got the header, we've got a software version number. I've added an attribute, a height of 10 meters. We've got our original start rule that takes that footprint and extrudes it by a height of 10 meters and calls it building. And then the building rule does a component split of the faces and calls those front, side and top and outputs front, side and a top with the capital S rules. And then we have a front rule, which uses an RGB color value to make the front red. We've got a side rule, which uses a hex color value to make the sides blue or a light blue color. And then we've got a roof rule that uses a, another hex color to make the roof green and then gives us a roof gable um, parameter with an angle of 20 and 0 0.1 overlaps on the sides and ends. OK, that concludes that demo. Thanks for listening. And now I'm going to go into the next video where I show you my rule file and what I've done to make the building look as realistic as I could get it to look. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next video.